welcome myself dr ragil tomatu today we are going to discuss about a silent silent killer named as diabetes mellitus as we are going to celebrate world diabetes day on november 14th what is diabetes i think all of the uh, population of the world is been defined with uh, diabetes mellitus as part of the research around 60% of the world population is been accompanied with diabetes mellitus and what is diabetes diabetes is a chronic disorder that occurs when the pancreas does not produce sufficient insulin or the body does not use the produced insulin to a limit of extent in the graph of 2000 to 2000 in between 2000 to 2019 around 3 percentage of increase is been happened to the mortality rate by the diabetes of the chronic diseases what are the types of uh, diabetes mellitus there are four types of diabetes mellitus according to who first one is type 2 diabetes type 2 diabetes is most commonly occurred in the world population which is accompanied with 45 percentage of the diabetic patients Type 2 diabetes is uh, commonly known as uh, non insulin dependent or uh, adult onset diabetes as it is been occurred in the above 40 to 50 years of age it is been defined as adult onset diabetes it is mainly due to the physical inactivity and also excessive body weight uh, to the uh, now we are going to type 2 diabetes which is uh, commonly known as non insulin dependent or adult onset diabetes it's because it's mainly occurred in the adult onset uh, of around uh, above 50 years of age this type of type 2 diabetes is mainly occurred due to the physical inactivity and also excessive body weight symptoms of type 2 diabetes is most oftenly same to the type 1 diabetes but it is being diagnosed after the several years of onset so particularly the complications of type 2 diabetes is uh, most often similar to the type 1 diabetes it's mainly due to the ineffective use of insulin to the various parts of our metabolism next we are going to type 1 diabetes which is commonly known as insulin dependent or juvenile diabetes or child onset diabetes which is mainly occurred from the childhood itself it's mainly due to the deficiency of insulin production by the pancreas the symptoms of this type 1 diabetes is mainly uh, polyuria means excessive urination excessive thirst constant hunger and also uh, some sort of body weakness like a deficiency of our muscle tone etc but these symptoms when compared to type 2 diabetes these symptoms are occurred in a span of within the onset of the type 1 diabetes so in when we are considering in the world population 95 percentage of the diabetes population is been occurred with type 2 diabetes and very less amount of people is been affected with type 1 diabetes next we are moving to the gestational diabetes gestational diabetes is being considered as the hyperglycemia condition particularly in the women's in the uh, prenatal state of the uh, pregnancy and also in the post uh, natal state of the pregnancy uh, it's uh, mainly defined as the uh, above level of the normality or but but below the uh, diagnostic levels of the blood sugar level Uh, it will be in a increased risk state uh, particularly for the pregnant women and also for the uh, delivered newborn babies in the future years now we are moving on to the clinical conditions of uh, diabetic mellitus what are the clinical conditions mainly the uh, clinical conditions of uh, diabetes mellitus is being uh, considered as 2 to 3 uh, fold of increased risk such as uh, strokes and also uh, heart attacks second condition we are moving with the diabetic neuropathy which is being occurred from the uh, decompressed 
blood flow towards the low particularly towards the lower limb which occurs in, as the uh, foot ulcers foot infections or uh, dvt deep vein thrombosis etc third condition we are moving to the diabetic retinopathy which is being the uh, blindness caused by the accumulation of blood sugar level by several ages after the onset of the uh, diabetes mellitus and fourth we are moving to the condition which is occurred as the infections after the outcomes of such as this pandemic covid 19 etc uh, like a heart attack stroke like that and fifth is the condition which is dealt with our internal organs such particularly uh, liver uh, kidney etc kidney failures we may occurred after the several ages of the onset next we are moving to the uh, preventive measures uh, by the uh, who for the uh, uh, diabetes mellitus it is been dealt with uh, four points particularly first one is physical active physically we should be active that means uh, every every day there should be a 30 minutes of physical activity such as walking or doing some sort of things in the day to day activities second thing is the uh, diet regulation diet regulation mainly includes the uh, particularly regular food timings that means take the food habits in a particular timings which should be in a digestive mode and third one is uh, digestive pattern means a diet pattern it should be avoided with saturated fats uh, uh, sugars uh, glutens etc and fourth is the um, main factor it means the medications so along with this medication the rest of the three only we could prevent the chronic silent killer named as diabetes mellitus next we are moving to the part of ayurveda what ayurveda can do in the uh, diabetes mellitus in ayurveda diabetes mellitus is uh, named as prameha which is a sanskrit term named as prameha prameha is considered as a maharoga uh, maharoga means it is a category of diseases which not which not, not be cured by medication but it will be preventive to the several ages how we can prevent the uh, diabetes mellitus or prameha according to ayurveda mainly in ayurveda the acharyas is being prescribed with diet regulations and medications named as patya abatyas the patya and abatyas which include avoid excessive uh, um, food habits like uh, saturated fat sugars and uh, uh, irregular food timings uh, sleeping in the daytime all these sorts of activities should be avoided and also regular food timings means morning before 8 30 um, uh, lunch before 1 30 and also night before 8 30 so that there will be three to four hours uh, for the digestive mechanism and uh, take more time for chewing each bolus of food whatever you are taken in the morning afternoon and also in the uh, dinner time and uh, other sort of is vaya, vyayama which is defined as uh, exercise in the modern aspect particularly we are prescribing uh, in the ayurveda is a yoga like surya namaskara vajrasana so that we could resist uh, the uh, depletion of uh, medas dadu how the ayurveda is defined the prameha in Ayurveda, the Prameha is defined as the depletion of uh, Medo Dadu, which is defined as Medas. Or the uh, instability of Medas Dadu is the main causative factor of uh, diabetes mellitus or Prameha. That means the excessive amount of the depletion of the Medas Dadu will result in the Prameha in the form of outcome as uh, Kleda which results in the uh, uh, wastage of our muscle tone and also our medo dadus. So, according to Ayurveda, what all treatments we could do for the diabetes mellitus? Diabetes mellitus, we are mainly dealt with the panjagarma uh, therapy like uh, vamana, virejana, uh, vastigarma and also all sorts of panjagarma uh, treatments so that they could be preventive to a great extent. And when we are moving to the part of medications, particularly uh, prescribed with the registered doctors, most commonly we are giving with Nisha Gadagadi Kashayam, 
and also some sort of uh, drugs which is including with nelikia turmeric etc and also diet regulations which is been deltered with uh, um, uh, vegetarian and also non vegetarian but particularly we are most of preferring for vegetarian food habits with regular food timings so this part of extent we could uh, regenerative our uh, very sound uh, well known uh, diabetic patient to a great extent by doing a regenerative ayurveda panchakarma treatment uh, particularly in a span of in an interval of 6 uh, to 8 months in every year so that the patient will be uh, dealt with a physically stable and uh, stable in their body weight also so uh, we recommend all sorts of diabetic patients uh, to be stay healthy and uh, uh, keep on the ayurveda regimens and also the treatments and the medications with uh, in concern with the uh, registered ayurveda practitioner so that uh, we could uh, resist the complications of uh, diabetes mellitus uh, to a great extent uh, through ayurveda thank you